that today is the first day we're taking Casper out in the van. This is why we live. Um, so today is very exciting because um, the lockdown restrictions have been um, reduced a little bit here in England so I'm very excited to say that today is the first day we're taking Casper out in the van um, since quarantine lockdown so we're actually going to be taking him up to the hills we're going to go for a little flat out gallop on there which I'm so excited for. I haven't been able to do that for a while because obviously there are a few bridle paths near me but they don't have the like longest fields and there's sheep in there so you've got to be careful with them and be respectful of the farmer's property. So yeah I think Casper's going to be really excited as well because um, he's been getting a little bit bored. I've been trying to sort of shake up the horse's exercise routines as much as possible. We've been doing a lot of pole work, um, we're doing a lot of hacking our, like around where we live but I'm just excited to get him somewhere new and different and just go for a super long ride. So yeah, let's go and grab Casper. Okay guys, time to get him. Casper! Casper! Yeah, man. He's trotting over guys. Come on Casper. That's you. Come on. It's riding time. He's coming! Oh my gosh, his little ears forward! Hey Gasp! Oh, they're all coming! <laughs> Mickey and Joey are going to be a bit disappointed that it's not them. Hey! Come on! Okay guys, I now have Casper. I'm just giving him a quick little groom before we set off. I also need to put my tack away. I'm just trying to get all the knots out of his very thick and curly tail. And your mane has gone very thick as well. Like, look at that guys, it's gone all curly. Like I sometimes get people ask me if I've curled Casper's mane or anything like that, but no, it's just naturally. He's just naturally a very curly boy, aren't you? Don't know if I should maybe give it a little bit of a trim because this week we also have Pony Magazine coming over, so I'll probably be filming another vlog then as well. Um, today is Monday. Anyway, it does look a little bit less curly now. <laughs> I've groomed it and given it a bit of a brush, but he kind of looks like a little wild. Connemara pony, don't you? Yeah, like a little show pony. Okay, let's finish up grooming you and then we need to put your tack away. Yeah. All right, so now I need to get everything ready for taking Casper on our hack. So I think we're gonna go for the olive today because you know, gotta be that matchy matchy. I think I might also, um, oh gosh, that was a bit of a slam. I think I might also take with me my fly veil just because it's a little bit windy up there and also this time of year the flies are starting to come out so grab that. Um, also need my gloves, just get some bog standard black ones, they'll do. Um, what else do I need? Helmet. Um, I'll probably take my older Ariats just because when I go hacking um, I like to wear my older ones so if I do get off and it's a bit muddy you know that's fine but these are my um, new Nitro Maxes I love them um, I'm, sa I'm saving them for like schooling when I'm like properly like want to keep my legs still you know all that kind of stuff and they're very comfy and I just want to keep them as new and nice as possible so then I see broken in and everything which is good so I've got these got my helmet and I think oh bridle can't forget that okay need to remember to get Casper's bridle and not Joey's because the other day I accidentally rode Joey and Casper's bridle even though their bridles are like the same size they just have different bits Casper has like an apple one but you know what Joey went really well on it so it's fine <laughs> that was quite funny um so yeah now I just need to grab my Voltaire saddle oh can't forget my girth that would be embarrassing if we went all the way there and forgot my girth definitely haven't done that before at pony club um so yeah uh, now I've got everything, it's time to haul it all into the van. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm just putting my helmet in. And also I've got Casper's breastplate just because we are going for a rather long hack <laughs> and we're going up and down quite a few hills. Um, so that'll be good. So I think that's everything and now it's just time to load the boy up. <laughs> okay, Casper, let's load you up then. Up we go. Got a nice new hay net. All right, everybody, we have now arrived. We're on top of the hills and just look at this view. It's so pretty, but also very windy. <laughs> all right, we're all tacked up and now ready to go. You've been down this road for far too long He left your love behind But still you keep on crawling back Despite the pain inside Cause all that I want is for you to be happy well, Give me a chance to show that you can be Well open your eyes They say a thousand words I've heard them all before The ones who love the most, my dear Are the ones left hurting more He broke you down with no remorse Now who will heal the bruise? The one you hold in your heart Standing right in front of you Cause all that I want is for you to be happy Give me a chance to show that you can you can be well open your Quite a long one, and we haven't been out and been able to do this for a while. We're both definitely a little bit on 
the unfit side. Um, but anyway, after our hack, we got back to the van. Um, the grass here is really nice. Um, so I let him have a little bit of a munch on that because it's so long and luscious and I think he definitely appreciated that. Um, so anyway, when we get back, we actually have a very important phone call with Bailey's where they're gonna be assessing both horses, but remotely through um, a WhatsApp video call, I believe. So I'll see you when we're back home and uh, we're talking to Bailey's. Today, Mickey is going to have a little bit of a checkup, and all the horses are actually. So if you watch some of my videos, um, all of the horses, about three months ago, um, we had Bailey's horse feeds come over and they um, weighed all the horses on their weigh bridge. Um, we had a little talk about what I should be feeding them. Um, both Mickey and Casper needed to lose a little bit of weight. So today is the moment of truth. Three months later, has there been an improvement? So here I actually have my weigh tape with the world um, being a little bit different to how it was three months ago. Usually we would have Bailey's come back and use the weigh bridge again and I would talk to Katie again. Um, however, with the current situation, obviously that can't happen, but um, we're still gonna be talking to Katie, but we're gonna be doing it by WhatsApp. So Mickey here, we're gonna have a little look at him together, um, body condition score him again, see if he's lost a little bit of fat, especially around his neck and around his butt. They had quite a bit. Um, see if he's lost some weight. I definitely think he has because he's looking so much better compared to how he did three months ago. Um, also, again, weigh him, see if he's lost a bit of weight that way. So here I have my weigh tape. It's just behind his withers um, and around his belly, just behind his sort of shoulders here. So um, if I put it on him, so the little arrow will point to whereabouts um, it should be. So on here it says Mickey is 318 kilograms, which is good because last time Mickey was 343 kilograms, I believe. So Mickey, you've lost quite a bit. Congratulations, mate. He is eating a hay net right now, but that's mainly from his standstill. So he is having a little bit of an extra lunchtime treat. But Mickey, that's brilliant news. Should we call Katie and tell her the news and she can have a little look at the rest of you? Yeah, really well, thank you. Yeah, all boys are doing very well, thanks. And Mickey's Aww. just here having a hay net. Hey. <laughs> so he's already. Um, we just measured him on the weigh tape and he's actually lost quite a bit of weight. So before he was four, uh, 343 and now he is 318. So he's lost quite a bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're really happy. Do you want me to like flip my camera so then you can have a little look at him and how he's doing? So I stand back. Yeah, cool. So there's still like if you look really closely like the tiniest M, but I think yeah. it's definitely a lot better. I just feel like that yeah. that's the one place where he just has a bit of chub is <laughs> on his butt. Smooth. Smooth, okay. Great. I mean, from the pictures you sent me, I think he's definitely lost loads of weight. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, I think we're, we're probably at quite a good stage now um, as the small grass is coming through. Yes. Yeah, Mickey's also been really active. We've done a bit of lunging with him and recently he's been like running around in the field with Casper and Joey. So he seems to be like doing so well in himself as well, which has been brilliant. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, it's been so good. So um, is Mickey done now? Should we go on to Casper? Yeah, yeah you're Brilliant. Happy, yeah. I'll go and get Casper then. <laughs> Hi, we're back now with Casper here. <laughs> Okay, so if I flip the camera, you can have a little look at how he's going at the moment. He's definitely looking a lot better to how he was before, but I think there's still yeah. quite a bit that we can work on still. Um, yeah. So if we go to his butt first, yeah. it's definitely looking more like a C than an M, which is good. Yeah. So, yeah, that yeah. Really so that's really good. I feel like that's the best <laughs> at the moment, so his butt's looking okay. good. <laughs> Um, his ribs is what was the, yeah, his ribs were the worst last time. Um, so I can definitely feel them a lot more than before, but there's still 
a little bit of chub covering them. So we still need to work on that. Yes. And then his shoulder, I think, is probably the worst. But it is, again, is still better. So it's a little bit on the spongy side here. So there's still a bit of fat here. Um, but if I go around to the other side for his neck, His neck is feeling a lot better, it's not as bumpy as it was before and it's not as wobbly or it still look a little bit but I think there's definitely a lot less fat than there was before here. Yeah, definitely, I think it looks better. Are you going to still with him? Oh, thank and you. What's he having things like? Uh, so he's having two scoops of the locale balancer and then a yeah. handful of the light chaff. If you're all doing a lot more with him now, now the weather's a bit better and, and yep. you know, not able to travel as well. Yes. Um, you might, especially for the sake of this will reduce the nutrients slightly in yep. um, So just to help with the muscle type, you could maybe just not put for two and a half hours a day. Okay. Yep. Okay, just to top up on those extra nutrients that you might be missing from not having um, through the fact that the hay is soaked. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so he's also we used the weigh tape on him just before and um, he's lost a bit of weight from that so when we measured him on the weigh bridge he was a little bit more he was 535 I believe and then um, when we used the weigh tape on him back in January that was um, 504 um, but now he's gone down to 438 I believe so he's definitely lost quite a bit so that's really good <laughs> yeah so we're really happy with that there's still a little bit more that we can do and um, we'll carry on doing what we're doing because obviously it's working but um, I just I just I honestly back in January I just didn't really realize how much weight he'd put on while I was away traveling the months before so yeah I'm really happy with how he's looking so yeah <laughs> Yeah, especially this time of year, like now the grass is coming. Yes, especially. We've been um, doing a lot of electric fence moving, um, helping restrict their grazing because, yeah, our fields, we've had a bit of rain and um, the grass is definitely growing over here. <laughs> cool, so would you like to um, have a look at my new boy, Joey? Yeah, definitely. Brilliant, I'll go and grab him then. Okay, thanks. Hi! Hi. Okay. Okay, so we're now back with Joey. So I just flipped my camera. You can have a little look at him. He as well is just having a bit of hay. Um, so he's gonna be turning six in a few weeks now, which is exciting. He's a warm blood cross thoroughbred. And um, so yeah, there's a little overview of what he's looking like. So um, just before we got him, it had been an absolutely terrible weather, um, terrible storm and winter over here. So he hadn't done as much over the winter just because the weather had been so bad. And then it's so funny because as soon as we got him and brought him home, the weather's been absolutely lovely <laughs> where we are. So he's been um, ridden like a little bit more. So he gets ridden around five to six times a week. Um, and he's doing really well. We're doing lots of pole work and flat work and just trying to, you know, build up that muscle and things. So yeah, this is what he's looking like. Before, at his old home, he was just on pony nuts, I believe. And at the moment, he's on three scoops of locale balancer. So he has two in the morning, one in the evening, and that's also with the light chaff as well. So um, would you like me to sort of come round so you can have a bit of a better look at his bottom? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm take you over to his ribs. Um, you can feel them, but you can't. Yeah. But um, I feel like there's like a tiny layer over the top of them. Okay. Well, I've, I've been taking a few sort of progress pictures, and I definitely think he's built up a little bit of muscle from all the pole work we've been doing. Um, definitely um, on the behind on his butt. So um, I feel like yeah, that's looking a little bit more peachy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and then um, if I take you over to his neck, so his neck's really good, especially compared to Mickey and Casper, there's no sort of fat there or anything, but obviously we're working on um, building up that top line at the moment and just sort of getting him a little bit more muscly. <laughs> so what would you recommend I feed Joey? Um, so Joey's looking really good. Um, it's great you've started on the low-cal balancer already. Brilliant. Um, now for him, now you're building up his workload, yep. doing a bit more with him to help him out with his muscle tone and his top line. 
it may be look at our number 19, which is the performance balancer. Okay, yep. So this is for horses who are doing a little bit more work. Um, yeah. And to really help with the muscle tone top line, it's got high levels of quality protein in there. Oh, so brilliant. So I think that will work really nicely for him. Yes. Um, <laughs> Depending on how he's looking, you can carry on with the light charts. Or yeah. if you could do with a little bit more, um, a little bit more weight, a few more calories, yeah. you could maybe change onto the Alpha Alpha Plus oil. Okay. okay. So Alpha Alpha is naturally really high in good quality protein. So that okay. again will help with the muscle tone. Yes. Um, and the added oil will just give you a little bit of um, more slow release calories just to help maintain his, his weight and condition as you sort of build him up um, so he doesn't lose too much weight, as you say. Oh, brilliant. Um, thank you so much for all of your help, Katie. Um, if um, some people watching today's video want to um, maybe have their horse assessed, how can they do that? Um, so even though I'm working from home at the moment, yes. um, we can still offer a kind of similar sort of yard visit service, yep. um, similar to what we've done today. So over um, WhatsApp or Zoom video calls, um, we can assess the horse, um, kind of talk you through weight taping if, if you have a weight tape, yep. and talk you through body condition scoring and what we'd uh, recommend for your horse or pony. Um, the only thing just to make sure is make sure you've got good signal at your yard. Yes. <laughs> Oh, amazing. So um, I'll leave a little link in the description below to that, guys. So if you'd like to check that out, you guys can. So thank you so much again, Katie, for all of your help. See you later. Bye. All right, everybody. Um, Joey's just finishing off the hay net at the moment. But it was so good to catch up with Katie and for her to have another little look at the horses. And I'm so proud of Mickey and Casper of how much weight they have lost. Like, honestly, just putting them on the low cow balancer and Bailey's light chaff, also giving them a little bit more exercise, um, strip grazing the field, and uh, again, soaking the hay nets, I feel like has made a huge difference as well. And both boys seem so happy. Um, they both seem like they have a lot more energy as well. Like recently I've been seeing them all running around in the field together. So I'm just really happy with, you know, how healthy my horses are right now. So um, yeah, this guy's getting um, a little bit impatient. I think he wants to go back out in the field with his friends. So I'll see you a little bit later once I put Joey back out into the field. Come on in, matey. Come on. Good baby. All right, everybody. Um, the donkeys, I don't know if you can see, but they've got some new fly rugs. They're from Maximo Equestrian. Very kindly gifted them to us. And look how cute Toby looks. So I've been looking for some fly rugs, the donkeys, for so long. And how cute are these? I finally found some that are gonna fit them. And they're so cute with the stripes on. And um, because this time of year, the flies are really starting to come out now and bothering them. And oh my gosh, they just look so cute. They look like they're wearing little donkey kind of pajamas. Hey. Oh. Also with it being a lighter color, it will also help with the heat. Especially as we're going into summer now, it's getting a lot warmer and sunnier. So the um, heat and sun will reflect off that. But I just think these are so cute. Hey, should we put some on Bruno and Willow now? Yeah. Okay, everybody, all of the donkeys now have their fly rugs on and they look so cute. If you want to check them out, I'll leave a link in the description below to Maximum Equestrian. Um, so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it, seeing me taking Casper on his lovely long hack, um, doing a little chat with Bailey, seeing how the horses are doing. And they've been doing so well. They've lost so much weight, which I'm so happy about. Um, and then, yeah, also seeing the donkeys with their super cute new fly rugs. So I'm going to finish off today's video here because Joey actually gets day off today because he had a super hard flat work session yesterday. Oh Toby you've joined us for the outro. Hello. Um, so yeah thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it and thanks again for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Hey. Hey donkey.